Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effect tutorial and in this video, we are gonna make this. First we open After Effect, then click New Projects. Then create composition and name it main comb and leave the rest of the settings same and change background color to black. Then import your main media file and drag it to your main comb timeline. Then cut the portion of the media which you don't require. Then right click the media layer and select track and stabilize then press track camera. After tracking you will see the track points like this. Then select one of the track point and press right click on it and select create solid and camera. Then create new composition and name it as black screen and leave the rest of the settings same. Then import your black screen PNG photo and drag it to your black screen timeline. Then create curve edges shape. Then transform it same as black screen PNG photo. and change stroke size to 5 pixel then copy your phone screen png layer and paste it to main comb timeline then hide your track solid one and put your phone screen png layer on the top then select phone screen png layer and press 3d button and link it to track solid one then change the scale and position of phone screen png layer Then go to your black screen composition and copy the shape layer and paste it on main comb composition. Then create duplicate of your phone screen PNG layer. Then move your media layer below the phone screen PNG layer. Then press the mode button and select the media layer. Then change track mat to alpha inverted mat phone screen PNG. Then select the shape layer and press 3D button and link it to phone screen PNG layer. Then change scale and position of shape layer. Then create duplicate of shape layer and change only its depth position. Then do it several times. Then go to your 3D tracker camera and extend its length. Then put your cursor 5 seconds forward and then scale it to the end. Then import your background space picture. Then drag it down to your main comb timeline and press 3D button and link it to shape layer. Then change its scale and position.
then put your cursor 2 3 seconds forward and press toggle button of Z rotation and again put your cursor 3 or 4 seconds forward and change the value of Z rotation then create new black solid layer and name it stars then go to effect and preset and search CC particle world and drag it to your star layer then go to particles and change particle type to faded sphere then change the birth and depth color to white then change the max opacity and size variation to 100% then change the depth and birth size to 0.1 then change the longevity to 20 and birth rate to 30 then go to physics and change velocity and gravity to 0 then go to producer and change radius x 2.445 and radius y 3 and radius Z 1.555 then press 3D button and link it to phone screen PNG layer then drag your star layer and put it below the shape layers then change your view and change depth position to 15,000 and also change the star layer depth position to 10,000 Then put your cursor 3 or 4 seconds forward Then press position toggle button of star layer Then again put your cursor 3 or 4 seconds forward And change its depth position something around 18,000 Then go to your 3D tracker camera layer And press all toggle button of XYZ rotation Then put your cursor 1 second forward and change rotation, position and scaling then again put your cursor one second forward and do the same. Then we export it. Go to file, then export, then add Adobe Media Encoder. Then press match source. Then tick to render at maximum depth and target bitrate 50 and tick use as maximum render quality then press play button thanks for watching i hope you like my video and please do subscribe my youtube channel